Don't be left behind. Join the new normal of digital world. Let radio and television be at your fingertips. Get news and current events, entertainment, sports, kiddies programs, and more at your beck and call on Aliamoye TV and radio. Just visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on all social media platforms. Then you are a global citizen. Aliamoye TV and radio. Voice of the voiceless. It is essential to be up to date on happenings around you and to make that easy for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we present Fresh Light, where we bring fresh newspaper headlines to the limelight. Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Aliamoye TV and Radio. Watch, like, subscribe, and make sure your notification is activated on our YouTube channel. You can also like and comment on our pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Aliamoye TV and Radio. Beautiful morning to you wherever you are watching live on Aliyamuye TV and radio. It is the third day in the month of October 2023. I want to be sure it is not too late to still wish you a happy uh, new month. Of course, uh, this new month will be a fantastic one for everyone. And of course, uh, we celebrated uh, Independence, 63rd Independence anniversary on the 1st of October 2023. Hoping for Nigeria to definitely be a better place for everyone. Welcome to Fresh Light on Aliyamoye TV and Radio. Our Fresh Light will take you through some of the stories and uh, headlines in our dating this morning. To keep you updated on what's happening around you, uh, we take uh, varying from uh, sports stories, uh, political stories, health, and of course, um, even foreign news this morning on Fresh Light. My name is Mudukwe. Good morning once again. Without further ado, let's kick start uh, the review segment this morning. Uh, we'll start with the front pages of our newspapers uh, to see what we have published on the front pages of the newspapers uh, today, the third day in October 2023. Let's start with the punch newspaper this morning. All right. Um, I have a couple of newspapers with me this morning, which we will be perusing uh, as usual. The Punch newspaper, the Disney newspaper, the Nation newspaper, and the Vanga newspaper. Let's start with the Punch newspaper. The front page of the Punch newspaper on six month allowance, federal government to spend 315 billion naira, labor suspend strike for 30 days. You have that with double riders. Details on page two in the Punch newspaper. Away from that, also from the front page, marketers disagree with Tinubu tax advisor on refinery sale. Page two also captures that uh, very story. And also from the front page on bribery, UK court restricts Diazane's movement. EFCC begins extradition. We have that on page eight in the Punch newspaper. On Chicago Varsity releases Tidubu's record to Atiku. Page eight also captures uh, that very story. 33 fear killed in Illigo River's uh, refinery explosion. The rather sad story on page eight in the punch newspaper and also from the front page of the punch bribe taking policemen return to lagos road ex extorts twenty five thousand naira from driver uh, the metro story on page four in the punch newspaper Taj bank grows gross earnings to 227 billion naira page 28 as that story and you get to see uh, quite a number of pictures of, on the front page of the punch the national security advisor Nuku Ribado, president of the Nigeria Labour Congress uh, Joe Ajara and other labor leaders during a meeting between the federal government and the organized labor in Abuja on Monday right on the front page of the punch and let's go through the punch newspaper this morning to see uh, a couple of the stories we have from the punch all right uh, going through the punch let's start with this very story Okay, on six month allowance, federal government to spend 315 billion naira, billion naira labor suspend strike for 30 days. The federal government may occur additional, incur rather, additional 315 billion naira in wage bill in the next six months for the newly introduced allowance for federal workers financed by the punch, have shown 
And these came as organized labor agreed to suspend its proposed nationwide strike for 30 days following the signing of a memorandum of understanding with the federal government after a marathon meeting that ended around 11 p.m. on Tuesday. From the punch, you get the details of that very story and six-month allowance. Federal government to spend 315 billion naira labor suspense strike for 30 days. Away from that very story, hmm, let's uh, take a quick trip to the UK with a punch to and bribery. UK court to restrict the Azani's movement. EFCC begins extradition. A former Minister of Petroleum Resources, Dezani Alice Madwiki on Monday, appeared before the Westminster Magistrate Court in the United Kingdom over an alleged £100,000 bribe. The district judge, uh, Michael Snow, granted Alice Madwiki a £70,000 bill. And Snow further imposed other terms on Alice Madwiki, including an 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew, an electronic tag to be worn by her at all times, and the £70,000 shorty to be paid before she could leave the court building. On bribery, UK court restricts Diazani's uh, movement. EFCC begins extradition. And uh, back to Nigeria with this very report. Marketers disagree with Tinubu's tax advisor on refinery sale. The chairman of the Presidential Fiscal Policy and Task Reforms Committee, Taiwo Oyedele, has said... Nigerians should pray that uh, the country's refineries do not work. Idele, who spoke at the platform's independence anniversary event held in Lagos on Monday, said should Nigerian refineries produce petroleum, insufficiencies in the management might make a litre of petrol the most expensive in the world. You get it into that very controversial uh, side to the story in the Punch newspaper. Marketers disagree with Tinubu's tax advisor on refinery sales. Away from that, we also have a very sad story from the Metro page of the Punch. Man, wife and two teenage children electrocuted in Taraba. A family of four, father, mother and their two children were on Monday electrocuted during the power surge in the Yavo area of Jalingo, Taraba State. The state police public relations officer, Isman Abdullahi, who confirmed the incident, however, said the last child of the family survived the incident. And Punch Mentro gather that the incident occurred as a result of a power surge that happened in the morning following an explosion from the transformer in the area. From the Punch, man, wife and two teenage children electrocuted in Taraba State. Away from that rather sad story, uh, we have a shocking and a false the reality uh, in the punch newspaper 12.5 kg cooking gas heat 12,500 naira uh, though it was predicted to uh, this will come uh, in december but uh, i think uh, it's coming before december price of 12.1 kg of liquefied natural gas or cooking gas has increased to 12,500 naira as nigeria celebrates our 63rd independence anniversary the punch has gathered market survey by a correspondent of a punch revealed that gas retailers had jacked up prices of 12.5 kg from 10,000 naira reported towards the end of last month to around 12,500 naira in lagos and the punch had reported how the president nigerian association of liquefied petroleum gas marketers or lots of us or lot of all want that a price of 12.5 kg cooking gas could hit as high as 18,000 naira by december if the federal government did not checkmate the activities of the terminal owners. From the punch, 12.5 kg cooking gas eats 12,500 naira. And uh, coming to the Gateway State, we have this report. APC chieftains hails Abiodun over tribunal victory. A chieftain of the All Progressors Congress and member of the National Working Committee, Tolu Bakoli, uh, on Sunday, congratulated on the state governor, Dakwa Abiodo, after the state election petitions tribunal upheld his victory in the March 18 governorship poll. The chieftain also congratulated his deputy, Noimot Oyedele Salako, the cha uh, state chapter of APC and the people of the state on the victory. APC chieftain Eos Abiodo over a tribunal victory. The punch as the story. Away from the punch, let's see what we have in the D-Stay newspaper. Let's start with the front page of the D-Stay. 
All right, from the front page of the Disney newspaper, we have a couple of headlines. At last, CSU releases Tinubu's academic record, the position today. We have that with a writer, rather, and uh, the details of that you get on page 33 in the Disney newspaper. Away from that, a non-interest banking, Taj Bank leads in tier one capital, PBT, uh, that's on page 33 as well in the Disney newspaper. NLC, TUC suspend planned nationwide strike for 30 days. You have that on page 8 in the Disney newspaper. UK government takes Diazani to court over bribery charge. It's also resurfacing on the front page of the Disney. You have that on page 36 in the Disney newspaper. Obi has something to say from the front page. No country floats currency without adequate supply. Uh, page 33 as well captures the details of that very story. Senate Committee Chairman on Gas Commenced to the Bull CNG Project. Uh, page uh, 32 has the details of that story. And you get to see a royal partnership on culture and educational exchange. Uh, you get to see the picture of His, His Majesty Shon of Ubumosho Oba uh, Gandhi Afolabi Olawi with His Majesty Olu of Wari uh, Ogiami uh, Atu Wate the third during the visit to Wari uh, Kingdom on strategic partnership on cultural and educational exchange in Wari Delta State. Recently, you get to see the picture of both right on the front page of the this day. All right, let's go through the this day. We start with the story. At last, CSU releases Tinubu's academic record, the position today. Uh, with a writer, documents say Tinubu attended CSU and high school graduated from uh, government college, Lagos. Uh, right on a response, number two, a true and correct copy of any diploma issued by CSU in 1979 to Mr. Tinubu. And of course, another response to requests. Uh, Chicago, Chicago State University, CSU, yesterday, on the order of Judge Nancy Maldonado on United, of the United States District Court of Illinois, released the academic records of President Bolatinibu in his custody. The position of CSU staff will take place today in court. From the this day, at last, CSU releases Tinubu's academic records, the position today, from the this day. Away from that, we also have uh a very story from the this day federal government releases blueprint on digital economy plans to train three million tech talent uh, to whom it may concern this might be of interest with a rider priorities digital jobs by 2027. the ministry of communications innovation and digital economy yesterday released a strategic blueprint for digital economy the blueprint focuses on five major pillars of knowledge policy, infrastructure, innovation and trade as a roadmap outlining the goals and objectives of the ministry. The strategic plan, which was released via the X last Twitter handle, Twitter handle of the Minister of Communications, Innovation and Digital Te Economy, Dr. Boson Tijani, highlighted some initiatives and projects that will be achieved by 2027. Federal government releases blueprint on digital economy, plans to train 3 million tech talent. Away from that, we also have an update from the this day. Beta Edu commences verification of national social register in six Lagos villages. The Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation, Dr. Beta Edu, has flagged off the verification of the national uh, social register, NSR, in Makoko and other uh, some other suburbs in Lagos State with a promise to get Nigerians a social register with integrity. The exercise which commenced simultaneously, uh, simultaneously across the country in line with President uh, Bola Tinubu's renewed OPA agenda would last for three weeks. Beta Edu commences verification of national social register in six Lagos villages. The this day captures that story. And uh, away from that story, let's see uh, if you have a, another story from the this day. Okay, um, UK-based church envoy envoy nation celebrates Nigeria at 63 as Nigeria marked its 63rd independence anniversary. The envoy nation, a UK-based church located in uh, Leicester, 
served a beacon of hope and inspiration for Nigerians nationwide, worldwide rather. Central to this commemoration was a message of unwavering faith and a call for unity, passionately delivered by the church's founder, Pastor Dili Oshumakindi. The UK-based church, Envoy Nation, celebrate Nigeria at 63 to Tuesday. Captured that. And from that story, we quickly dash into our commercial uh, room and let's pay some bills. We'll be back on Fresh Light on Aliyamaya TV and radio. Stay with us. Thousands have been disappointed severely in their bid to see greener pasture abroad. To those quack in the traveling agency business, it is a rocket science. That is not our case at Tau Staff Travels and Talk. We have in-depth details on how to successfully, without stress, help you process and secure your visa to anywhere in the world. Do you want a permanent residential visa, visiting and tourism visa, student visa to places like Europe, America, Asia, Africa? It's no big deal to us at Tau Staff Travels and Talk. Our years of experience and expertise speaks volumes for us let's process and secure visa for you to uk usa and canada within a twinkle of an eye we offer Aj and umura services to our muslim faithfuls what are you waiting for consult us at number nine house of central mosque sholanka street behind laroy hotel abiola way 0802 0800 or 0806 578 4060. Stop wasting money. Pay for peace of mind. Talk to Taos of Travels and Gugwa la fe tu bayi to fe go show yi show get up bag bamu nun kojalo si House of Zayana. House of Zayana. The name I know when we talk of top notch fashion, quality materials and class. House of Zayana. Let him out you know talk you yes. Egypt and Malaysia clothing. Dubai. I want designer bags. No rishi rishi. I want it tele bata. So you not want for what original she. I want go kajo ton kawaka ti yojo. Designer sunglasses and perfumes. But ru I want go bon kan. So be real siku fink ba fe look ba. Ha ha. Debe, Ojo min she kami 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 e mini ora e mini omu gbogbo eyin musulumi elesin te gboge gbon pa fashion te wa ni lo jalabia ijab ati abaya lori sirisi house of zayana le o ti ri gbogbo era house of zayana wa ni 52 olorun osogo ro aja saint redeem church agape parish olorun osogo abe okuta lori instagram house of zayana 08165688618 house of zayana ile itaja ta tin toju lo wa so ati nkan asara loge tin gbe ni ni yi Fresh light on Aliamuya TV and radio. Thank you so much for staying with us. And still going through some of the stories in our newspapers this morning. Uh, let's speak of the Vanguard newspaper to see what we have at the front page of the Vanguard newspaper. Federal government, labor reached truce, nationwide strikes suspended. You have that with several writers and details on page five in the Vanguard newspaper. Manufacturers query federal government six month VATS waiver on diesel. Page 19 has the story. Tribunal sacks Nasarawa governor in split decision. Uh, you have the details of that on page 13 in the Vanguard. On palliatives, government making announcements with limited thinking. Peter Abi uh, revealing that on page 11 in the Vanguard newspaper. On Diazani gets 70,000 pounds bill in alleged 100,000 pounds bribery trial. Page 9 also captures that very story. Federal government draws a roadmap to make Nigeria a total digital economy. Uh, you have that on page 8 in the Vanguard newspaper. Africa won't rise by prayer and fasting. That's not coming from me, coming from Professor Lumumba on page 8 in the Vanguard. Embracing effective and strategic leadership path to Nigeria's progress. You have the write up on page 14 in the Vanguard newspaper and also from the front page of the Vanguard 35 persons born to death at a river's illegal oil refining site. That writer sat an unfortunate story of page 6 in the Vanguard newspaper and also a sad one 8 killed, 5 injured in Plateau community. That on page 6 in the Vanguard and also violent impunity, greed, selfishness won't save Nigeria. Uh, and become bishops revealing that on page 11 in uh, the Vanguard newspaper and also a sport headline right here says on international friendlies 
Romero, Iwobi, Osoi Samo, Murphy back to Super Eagles. Page 31 captures that sports story. And of course, you get to see picture of government officials, labor leaders uh, meeting on strike. You get to see the Minister of Labor and Employment, Simon uh, Lalong, Femi Bajabi Amila, Chief of Staff to, uh, to the President of uh, Nigeria, NLC President Joe Ajaru, and others after the meeting between the federal government team and labor leaders in Abuja yesterday. You get to see the picture of them right on the front page of the Vanguard. Uh, quickly going through the Vanguard newspaper, let's see the stories that we can quickly uh, take this morning. All right, we have this report. Are we intend to check Jaffa syndrome? Federal government revealing that. Let's see. Chairman of the Presidential Committee on Fiscal Policy and Task Reforms, Mr. Taiwo Yedili, and the Minister of Communication and Digital Economy, Mr. Boson Tijani, yesterday declared that strong institutions and investments in manpower are key to rebuilding a great uh, country, adding that the country's youth are its best asset. Oyedele and Tijani spoke during the Covenant Nation's non political and non partisan national development fair known as the Platform. And Oyedele, in his address, cautioned those leaving Nigeria not to wish others stay back evil. How we intend to check Jaffa syndrome, says federal government. You get the details of how in the Vulgate newspaper. Away from that, we this a very sad one revealing fire kills 35 persons at Rivers Illegal Oil Refining Site. No fewer than 35 people have been reported burnt to death at an illegal oil refining site in River State. The incident happened at Iba Community, a Mohia local government area of the state. It was gathered that a fire broke out at the illegal oil refining site late Sunday night and that all the people numbering over 45 were affected. Fire kills 35 persons at the River's illegal oil refining site. The rather sad one. From the metro page of uh, the Devanga newspaper. Let's quickly take a trip out to Nigeria once again to India. Indian police launched raids on journalists and activists. Indian police raided the homes of at least eight journalists and activists on Tuesday. Local media reported deepening concerns over a crackdown in a country where media freedom has nosedived. Those raided are reported to be connected to the English language news website NewsClick, with Indian authorities filing a case in 2021 alleging the organization was receiving foreign funding. Indian police launch raids on journalists and activists. The Vanguard captures that foreign story. And uh, on 63rd Independent, uh, we have a report that says Tinubu tasked with feasible economic policies with. Uh, a rider insists monopoly should be discouraged. To mitigate the suffering of Nigerians, President Bolantinobo has been urged to come up with a doable economic team and policies that would discourage the monopoly of the nation's economy. Speaking on the nation's 63rd independent business mogul and a fellow of the Nigerian Institute of Architects, Reverend Benson Ezem stressed in a chat with selected newsmen in Lagos that monopolies should, not, uh, should be urgently discouraged for small and medium enterprises, SMEs, to freely play. On the 60th Lord Independent, Tinubu tasked with feasible economic policies. And, uh, okay, let's take this out story from the Vanguard. NCDC registers 1,968 Lassa fever cases in 28 states. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention, NCDC, has registered 1,068 Lassa fever infections across 112 local government areas in 28 states of the Federation. The NCDC said this via its official website on Tuesday in its Lassa fever situation report for week 37, September 11 to 17, 2023. NCDC registered 1,968 Lassa fever cases in 28 states. From the Vanguard. And let's run it up with the Nation newspaper this morning. Let's see what we have on the front page of the Nation newspaper. We have stories like Federal Government vote 100 billion naira for high capacity CNG buses uh, with a rider. Labor suspend strike after signing agreement with government. And you get the details of that very story uh, right in the Nation newspaper. That's on page four in the Nation. Tribunal Sats and Nasarawa Governor 
uh, with a rider for Bad of Interatural Health. Page 5 captures that. ECA withdrawal states to get 1 trillion naira refund. Page 4 also captures that. A rather sad story. Eight and burnt to death in Rivers, illegal refinery fire. Page 5 captures that. Obasek inaugurates 34 SSAs, 152 SAs. They have that on page 27 in uh, the nation newspaper. And also, President celebrates General Akiri Ade at 81. Page 3 captures that. Gunmen Q9 in plot 2. Page 28 captures that story. WHO OKs Oxford vaccine for malaria. Page 5 has that health story. And uh, also, Trump fraud case trial begins. Uh, page 5 also captures that. Our expectations from Liberia pose. You get to see the expectations also on page 5 in the nation. Tinubu graduated from SCSU in 1979, says school uh, with a writer, and that on page 4 in the nation newspaper. NAF airstrikes kill terrorists in Borno. Page 26 captures that. S uh, Sano seeks 25% pay rise. Page 3 captures that story. And uh, let's see the stories we have. Uh, federal government votes 100 billion naira for CNG, uh, for high capacity CNG buses. With a rider, labor suspends strike after signing an agreement with government. A huge transport boost to alleviate uh, the petrol subsidy pain was unveiled last night. It is a major highlight in the agreement reached between the federal government and labor with uh, which effectively halted the Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC and Trade Union Congress to use strike plan. And of course, the decision on transportation also include provision of 55,000 CNG conversion kits to kickstart an auto gas conversion program pending the completion of ongoing work on the state uh, of the art CNG stations nationwide. And the government plans to roll out next month with pilots across 10 campuses nationwide. Federal government votes 100 billion naira for high capacity CNG buses. The nation captures that story. And uh, let's get to see from the sports page of the nation. Sebastian to complete move to state rings. Bielsa Queens and Falcon and Winger Flory Sebastian has landed in France ahead of a proposed move to the French Feminine League. Sebastian arrived in France last weekend to formalize her move to uh, start the rings and undergo the compulsory medical check, uh, medical checkup. Sebastian was part of the Bielsa Queen side that won the Nigerian League title in 2022 and subsequently picked a bronze medal at the CAF Women's Champions League of the same year. Sebastian to complete move to start Reims. Uh, the sports pages of the nation captures that story. And from that sports story, we'll be dolphin our heart on fresh light on Aliamoyo TV and radio. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Aliamoyo TV and radio. And of course, turn on your alarm button to get notification of our programs. And of course, uh, follow us on our social platform, a social media platform on Facebook at Aliamoyo TV and radio, on the X platform at Iyamoye underscore TV and on Instagram at Iyamoye TV. Uh, definitely, we can always advertise and and take to the doorstep of your target audience or target customers, your business or your service, right on Aliyamu TV and radio. I'm in with Dukwe, Good morning.